Hi everyone and welcome to a new episode of Symbol Machine video series. In this short documentary we will analyze a special effect which has fulfilled an extremely important role into the history of cinema and more in general of motion pictures before the coming of CGI. The use of miniature. Director's creativity has always underwent logistic and budget problems and these limitations have pushed them to seek for new solutions and to the invention of brand new expedients in order to make credible the narration and to keep the quality of the product on high standards. In this sense, the use of miniatures and scale models has permitted the achievement of convincing results from the very beginning, even during unsuspected eras, like for example this one, this one, or this one. Furthermore, it was possible to create majestic and surreal settings, perfect for Shifai movies, fabricating buildings or even entire cities. Many SFX supervisors focused on producing detailed figures and on their positioning in the shooting, like the pioneer John Fulton, who won three Academy Awards for special effects, the Italian Carlo Rambaldi, creator of Alien and E.T., also winner of three Oscars, and many others. With the passage of time and the combination of different techniques, the use of miniatures and scale models which astounding results. In many cases, famous sequences appear perfectly realistic and it seems almost impossible that they were made with those methods. Ok, we got it right, but how the hell did they make it work? Well, first of all, the model has to be fabricated with proper materials and painted in details now, the challenge is to make small and light objects appear as greater and heavier. Let's start with dimensions. One of the main tricks is called force perspective, an optical illusion that makes subjects appear bigger or smaller than what they actually are. Placing the subjects at an appropriate distance from the camera and from the other scene object and shooting with a wide angle lens and a deep depth of field allows to combine the use of miniatures with life-size settings and real actors. In this shot from the movie Close Encounters of the Third Kind, the ship Cotopaxi is a 6 meters long model and the actors were standing more than 400 meters away. In his masterpiece Metropolis, director Fritz Lang used an effect called Schuftan Process that considers the use of a partial mirror at a 45 degree angle between the camera and the miniature buildings. And how do we deal with motion? The simplest solution to give the perception of motion is moving the camera instead of the model, a system that was widely used in science fiction movies. Shooting them on a green screen and then replacing it with a space background gives the viewer the feeling of an impressive flight. But let's get back to Earth. In this case, the dynamic of motion needs to be coherent to the laws of physics. To obtain this effect, producers shot at a faster frame rate than usual, often more than 60 fps, and play the footage back in slow motion. This technique, once called overcranking, grants more realistic and credible movement. And what if our model is supposed to be alive? This problem was faced during the realization of King Kong in 1933, when it was necessary to make the gorilla move. The solution they found was to use the stop-motion animation, exposing one frame by one and moving the puppet with small increments in between. The stop-motion was used also later, like for example to animate the famous at, -AT workers in the Star Wars saga. At a later time, the evolution of technology led to shooting films with motion control equipment that involved the use of a computer-controlled camera system. 
Therefore, they could compose separately photographed elements, perfectly placing the miniatures in the context, even for complex camera movement. An even harder challenge is to realize miniatures bound to collapse, explode or interact with fluids and particles. To get through this, the only solution is to build very big size miniatures, like in the case of the movie Titanic. During its realization, they needed to employ various replicas of the transatlantic, including a complete version 13 meters long. Ok, now that you have an idea of how the world of miniatures works, you can start to shoot your own sci-fi fantasy movie or whatever, but especially don't miss the next video from Symbol Machine.